Hi, I'm Ashley, and we get requests all the time about what you can do with your old t-shirts. So today I'm going to show you a couple of different ways that you can modify the shirts that you already have, or buy some of our on-sale shirts or oversized shirts and make them fit you the best. Um, this is an example of a scoop neck. We're going to do a demonstration of a tank top, a tote bag, and then how to make large shirts with a belt. So enjoy! This is how to make a grocery bag or a tank top, which it's the same cut for both. So I've already made my marks in um, the sleeves for the tank top and I'm gonna just continue cutting here. And I use this line to match up. straighter across here if you're making a tank top just so that it doesn't fall down off your shoulders. But if you want to make it a little bit baggier then go right on ahead. Now the sleeves. Just kind of make my own little imaginary line. And the great thing about this is if you mess it up, then you can make it the grocery bag. Or tote bag, whatever you like. So there's the tank top version. Now I'm going to show you how to do the bottom for the grocery. And this is a damaged shirt, so that's why there's a little spot down here, and that's why we're cutting on it, because I would never cut on new, fresh apparel. So you don't need to measure, just to eyeball it. Um, like I said, I measure with my thumb, so I'm going to go one and then two. So here's going to be that mark. And then same on this side. One, two, mark. And we're just going to take this diagonal in, cut along the bottom of the line, and bring it back around. You could wear this, even though this is the pattern for the tote, um, you could wear this as the tank top and just make the bottom a little bit more rounded instead of straight across. Totally your preference. And now I'm going to get rid of that little stain that was on here. to make it into my tote bag or you've got a super cute tank top so you're gonna fold it inside out then if you are if you are a master sewer knock yourself out and hem the bottom of the line up the shirt together and you'll be set and ready to go Otherwise, I am not great at sewing, so I'm going to show you option number two. Take some large safety pins or small safety pins or regular pins, whatever you like. I'll go in and 
reinforce this with more safety pins, but to just make this video a little bit faster, I'm only going to use three. Then what you'll need is some liquid stitch, and you can get it at Joann's or Michael's or at any um, cloth store, but it is a lifesaver if you don't know how to sew or if you don't have a sewing machine. You can just, it's just a glue and it's um, machine washer friendly and you don't have to worry about messing anything up. So I'm just going to fold this one flap over and apply my glue. using the tote for large things, definitely sew it, put more glue down, whatever you're going to be needing it for, put more safety pins on it just to make sure that it holds. Um, then press this down and it'll need to dry, but once it's dry, you flip it inside out. Now you have yourself a little tote bag. <laughs>